Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm CL Carmen ATL. I'm about to get down with Grandma on this one. Grandma used to do this amazing collard greens and cabbage. If you love collard greens and you love cabbage, I got y'all. I promise. Okay, guys. What I have here, I have four strips of bacon that we're gonna cut. I have one small onion, one amazing ham hock, three cloves of garlic, and today I'm gonna to be using my Himalayan salt and black pepper, my green seasoning, my garlic lovers, and of course, my onion lovers. Let's cut up our bacon. I like to cut my bacon up into, into nice, small pieces. And you know, when you walk in the house and you smell collard greens cooking, you know it's either Sunday dinner, Thanksgiving, or Christmas. Because this dish right here is one of my mother's, I, well, one of the things that I really love when my mother cooked. And um, I got so good at cooking it, so she passed it on to me. So um, now I'm gonna pass it on to each and every one of you. Okay, let's just cross cut it just a little bit. We'll chop, chop, chop it up. Chop a style, chop, chop, chop a style. Okay, that's good. So let me get a few more pieces and that's just about how you want your bacon, okay? And next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drop it like it's hot. Listen to that sizzle, my noodle. So, I've already chopped up one small onion. So, let's go ahead on the top of our garlic. Imagine onion, garlic, bacon in the same pot. I'm about to make y'all lose y'all mind up in here, up in here. Okay, so we got our garlic chopped. Let's go back over here and check on our bacon. And our bacon is coming along just fine. Let's go ahead on and add our onion. Okay, now I'm gonna add my garlic. Okay guys, then we're gonna add five cups of unsalted, unsalted chicken stock. Then we're gonna add one ham hock. Then we're gonna cover and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, now it's been simmering for about 30 minutes. We got all that smokiness from the ham hock, the bacon, the onion, and garlic, just married all in one pot. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start seasoning our pot. I have my garlic lovers. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon to that. We have our Himalayan salt and pepper. I have my vegetable green seasoning. And we're gonna add our onion lovers. And now we're gonna take and add our shredded collard greens to the pot. This simple and easy, you ain't gotta wait on auntie and mama and them and grandma and them to cook you no collard greens. I got y'all. Just order the best seasons in the world at IGotYourSeasonings.com. My seasons will elevate your cooking game 10, 15 notches while I'm teaching you how to cook. Make sure you share, comment on this video. Tag all your friends. Okay, at this point, we're gonna simply cover our pot and believe, watch the magic happen. They're poof, right now poof the magic dragon, but they gonna shrink again. Okay, now that our collard greens are done, Let's take and cut our cabbage. Collard greens and cabbage is like a match made in heaven. Cut that little end piece off, then take and cut it in half. And you wanna take and cut that core out. Cut it in half. Then you're gonna take your knife and you wanna want your strip just a little bit bigger than your collard greens, not much. Then I'm gonna put them in a the colander because I'm definitely gonna take them over to the sink and wash them. And then we're gonna add them to our greens. And they'll be ready in about 10 minutes. Okay. And our collard greens are completely done. So we're just gonna let those 
just get a little more tender. And we're gonna take and add a small head of cabbage into two, two pounds of greens. One small head of cabbage into two pounds of collard greens. Would change your life. Okay guys, y'all ready for this amazing epicness? Cabbage and collard greens. Just the way my grandmother used to do it. Okay, let's take a taste. Cabbage and collard greens together. It's like a, a match made in heaven. Alright, got y'all. Just the way grandma did. I promise.